It is a daily ritual and part of our grooming. It is not only a mark of hygiene, but also a confidence booster every time we smile or go about our daily conversations. But various researchers say for about 25% of the world's population, brushing their teeth alone cannot guarantee them an odor-free mouth. It is a condition that many suffer from unknowingly. Halitosis, also known as oral malodor or simply bad breath, is ranked as the third most frequent reason for seeking dental treatment. It is caused by a general buildup of bacteria in the mouth. While well, research has linked certain kinds of foods such as garlic or highly spiced meals as causes of bad breath, poor dental hygiene can also trigger bad breath. More often than not, the causes are what we call oral causes, which means it's in the mouth. The problem is coming from the mouth. Other causes of bad breath include alcohol, smoking, a consistently dry mouth, other medical conditions such as sinus infections, tonsillitis, lung, kidney and liver diseases, blood disorders, diabetes and menstruation. Bad breath can be a major source of embarrassment and a huge blow to one's social life. Extreme cases are said to have psychological implications in that the person may suffer from low self-esteem, depression and isolation. There's a lot of stigma and social implications to it. So even most patients when they come to a dental practice, they would rarely just directly say, I think I have a problem with bad breath. They'd beat around the bush, try to say, oh, I think my mouth needs to be cleaned, I think this. Some, a few, probably once in a while you get one who tells you, I think I have bad breath. Although mouth fresheners and mints offer short-term solutions, there are also home remedies that can help in treating bad breath, like the use of herbs such as fenugreek, cloves and parsley. Foods such as avocado and guava are also believed to contain mouth-friendly minerals which eliminate mouth odor. Persistent bad breath should be a cause for alarm for any person as it may be a sign of serious internal illness. Bad breath by itself is a sign of a problem and that's why it should be taken seriously because for some people it could just mean something as simple as you need to improve your oral hygiene. For someone else it could mean you have a cancer in your throat which is rare of course yes it's, that's not the normal presentation but it's something you need to be aware of. Maintaining an odor free mouth is as simple as brushing one's teeth twice a day, avoiding high sulfur content foods and an increase in one's water intake. An odor free mouth spells confidence and a holistic well-being.